Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, it's been a minute since I've recorded anything, but uh, I got so uh, so many positive feedback messages um, on the last video, uh, which was the uh, Golden Key glitch on the PS3, uh, that I thought I'd uh, give you guys some more. Uh, again, I do not claim to have discovered these glitches. Um, like, I, I know I didn't find them. They were brought to my attention from uh, my personal friends, as well as uh, friends on YouTube. Um, like I said, I'm not claiming to be the first one to know this. I'm sure there are other videos out there. I know that some of these are on there. This is just more of me spreading the word, I guess, because I know uh, some of my subscribers or uh, people that view my videos aren't aware of them. So I'm just kind of spreading the word, um, showing that these do work after the patch, in the most recent patch, and that um, this is on the PS3, it's not a P uh, PC that's modded or anything like that, um, that this is something anyone can do. Alright, so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you that the uh, the Golden Key glitch that I showed you in my past video does indeed still work. Load in my uh, other character, I'm going to just load in another level 61. Uh, Loading Gage. She is my legitimate level 61 character. I played from her, you know, 1 to 61. Uh, and, uh, that was a pain in the ass. That's what that was. <clears throat> Alright, so, got my level 61 Gage. And she has 11 keys. Now, if you look, my main character, Creek, here. Zero keys. So player one, no keys. I have no keys. Load in player two, 11 keys. It's just a pretty awesome glitch that still works after the patch. Okay, so the main thing I want to show you guys, let me get rid of Gage, is when I said that Gage is my legitimate level 61 character, um, I used her to get Krieg, which I'm playing as, uh, level 61. Which is essentially you can duplicate your level onto another character. Um, yeah, good old Krieg. Uh, yeah, so, you know, level 61, got all the skill points I did. Um, I do not recommend the skill point glitch that's on YouTube. Uh, if you want to do it, do it. I did it, uh, found the downside to it pretty fast. Uh, if you load a character that you've done the glitch to, as a secondary character, you end up losing all of the skill points and some. Uh, basically, any that are left over become negative, and you end up losing a bunch of skill points, and you have to keep doing the glitch over and over again. So it's just it's just a pain. If you want to go through it, then by all means, go for it. I'm not going to demonstrate it. Um, so anyway, this is how you do this, and uh, I need to make sure you guys understand, do not... And I repeat, do not do anything until after I have finished talking. Uh, you can screw this up in so many different ways. Um, some of them are more interesting than others. My buddy last night tried to do it and ended up copying the character instead of making a new character. He ended up with two level 61 assassins that were named Gage because he was trying to make a level 61 Necromancer. But he he did one of the steps wrong or something. There's there's a few steps that if you do in a certain way, you can jack it up and you can either lose all of your uh, missions that you've done up to that point and it'll completely reset the story for that character. Um, which happened twice last night when uh, friends tried to do it, and these are friends that have done it before, so it's really easily screwed up if you're not paying attention. Um, but it's not hard to do. I've done it quite a few times. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it. Uh, Alright, so what you do, you need two controllers to do this. You don't have to be in a friend's game or anything like that. Um, it's very simple to do. Push start. Now, when you're loading in your second controller, this is where you need to pay attention. You're going to hit X on your second controller to load the character in, right? But you're going to hit X on the first controller almost immediately after. It's like, bam, bam, XX. Uh, what this does is it brings up a glitched menu. So I'm going to do it right quick. Hit X with the second controller to confirm. That's my profile. 
and if you do it right, it'll say warning. And then at the bottom, if you can see, it says push triangle to select character. Now if you do it the correct way, which is like, what? Well, but when I say correct, I mean the, the way it was meant to be done when you load in a second character, just by using one controller, um, it should say select character, and then in parentheses, player 2. This is a glitch menu that lets you select character with player 1, which is how you do this glitch. Now, you set controller 2 aside. This is how you screw up. Put controller 2 away from you, and make sure that it is controller 2 that you're setting aside. If you do this with controller 2, you will lose a lot of inventory. So, with controller 1, you're going to hit triangle. You're going to select a new Mechromancer. I suggest Mechromancer because it has worked 100% of the time when I do it with her. Uh, when I try, I've done it before using Commando and it worked twice and then it stopped working. It's never not worked using the Mechromancer. So whether you are a Mechromancer or not, use the Mechromancer. Um, so, with Controller 1, I'm going to select a new Mechromancer. As soon as I select a Mechromancer, I'm immediately going to select the character that I want to make level 61 with Controller 1, not Controller 2. Controller 2 is still sitting over on the beach sipping tequila. You don't need him yet. So what you're going to do, I'm going to select New Mechromancer. Immediately, I'm going to select a new Commando. I don't have a level 61 Commando. I want one. Alright? So, with Controller 2, I'm going to select an existing character. I'm going to bring in Krieg, which is the character that I'm currently loaded. It's the character that I started this particular game with. Uh, it has to, has to be that character. Uh, what this glitch does is it duplicates the level of the character that you started that particular game with. If you loaded in a gauge level 54 and you did this, you have to load that level 54 gauge as your player too. If you don't, you will screw it up. So I'm going to load Krieg, level 61, as my player too. Alright, now from here, you're going to, at the bottom where it says X, select player 1, you're going to use controller 2 instead of player 1 to hit X. Okay, it's going to bring that up. You're then going to hit X on controller 1 to confirm. And if you do it right, again, yeah, 11 golden keys, you hit X on that because it'll pop up. You can see at the top of the screen. That commando is level 61. On the bottom, I have my level 61 creed that I started with. Now, if you look at him, he says level 1. Okay? He's not. He's level 61. You want to pay attention to the top screen at the bottom where it says 61. Alright? Pause the game. Back your controller 2 out. So get your level 61 character, level 50, whatever it is, out. Okay? Once he's gone... See, level 61. You're going to save and quit. Alright. Now it is suggested that you go into the game with this. Um, you can easily jump into a friend's game, or you can do what I'm about to do, which is I'm going to reload Krieg, and then bring this commando in as a secondary character. Um, you have to save and quit, otherwise you won't get the skill points, and it'll reset the character. But if you look, as soon as... Uh, a buddy there gets out of the way. You can see it's a level 61 commando. Alright, so I'm going to load in Krieg so that I can actually be at Sanctuary and not have to watch the beginning scene again because, I mean, as good as it is, let's be honest, we don't want to watch it again. Alright, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Alright, continue the game. And you can load him in in the beginning. Your, uh, your, your new level 61 character, you can load him there. It doesn't matter. Um, at that point, he's already level 61. Uh, the important part is to back out. Once you backed out, it, like, saves that character as a 61 character, not as a level 1. So, once I'm in here and it's done saving, as you all know, that takes a minute. <laughs> takes a good minute. Good God. Alright. I'm going to load in. 
my level 61 Axton. See that? And he's named Axton. I've seen videos of this doing it and it ends up getting named whatever character you did it um, did the glitch with. That's because they did something wrong. I don't know what step they did wrong, but they did it wrong. Uh, so I'm going to load in Axton level 61. Okay. Hit X, confirm. All that good stuff like normal. 11 gold of keys. And if you see there it says I have 57 skill points I can go in and just start putting in the crap I'm not really paying attention, I'll respect all this at some point I'm just showing you this is how it's done it's really simple alright, I'm out of skill points. Anyway, that's how you do it Okay, now the last little bit, I'm at 11 minutes, and I'll go ahead and show you anyway. Alright, I'm doing this with these two characters, just to show you that I'm not full of shit, and uh, instead of doing it with somebody else, then you can be like, oh, you already had the items. I'm going to show you how to duplicate items. Alright, you go into a duel. Now, I'm going to duplicate um, the Norfleet and um, the Nukem. Okay, you go into a duel. Okay, don't hit each other. You hit each other, you're gonna screw up. Uh, you go into your um, your inventory, and you're going to equip these weapons one at a time, and then drop them. So I'm going to equip the Norfleet and drop it. I'm going to equip the Nukem and drop it. And then I'm going to leave the duel. Walk outside the barrier. Okay. Wait for it to go away. It says blah 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 is triumphed. You go in. Pick your crap back up. Let me go into secondary character, go into his, and look, he's got them. Oh my god, they're duplicated. Uh, there's plenty of ways to duplicate items. Um, the one that I was aware of was you just dropped all your shit. Uh, you could trade all your money to your friend, and then you just hit the home button. Quit game, went to your, uh, your menu, and then load back in, and then the game didn't save that you didn't have your weapons, but your friend still had all your shit. That's the old way to do it. I found this new way with Buddy. Um, I'm, again, I'm not the first one to find this, I'm sure. Um, just spreading the message. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it helps. Um, I know that I have added a few of you via private message. If you private message me and tell me that you want to play or you need some items duped, I have no problem adding you and uh, duplicating some weapons because I've got a lot of stuff now. A lot of legendaries, a lot of versions of legendaries that are level 61. Um more than welcome to add me if you private message me. If I start getting friend requests and you haven't private messaged me on, on YouTube, uh, letting me know that you know you want some items duped or whatever, I'm not going to accept it. If you just saw my tag on this video and were like, oh, I'm going to add him, I'm not going to accept it. You have to private message me and talk to me, and uh, I will work with you. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you uh, like and subscribe my videos, and uh, I'm sure I'll be back later. Thanks, guys.